All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, then welcome. And if it's not, then welcome back. So in today's video, what we're going to be talking about is device protection. So things like the Norton Report Card, Norton Safe Web, as well as how to activate your firewall. But in the case that you don't have Norton and actually want to try it out over the course of the video, then if you want to do that, go to the link in the description below because we have a seven day free trial on offer for you that you can't get anywhere else. So you can try out. Let me just scroll back here. Any of these four options and you know there's all the features available so if at any point you're interested then hop over to the link in the description below and try it out and now let's get down to brass tacks so the first thing we're going to talk about is the norton report card which you can find in device security and so you'll find it right here at the top of this little section and then essentially what the report card is that every time something is downloaded analyzed scanned by norton it will provide you with a report here so it will log it into this section and i'll give you a brief look at it so it will log everything that you've done here and see right here it gives you all the stats of what it's doing and so if you want to know what it's doing in the background then you can check out your report card and following our report card we're going to want to check out live update so live update uh, this is just making sure that my network is compatible right so we're going to override that and essentially what live update is it's a feature that keeps your security software up to date by downloading and installing the latest virus definitions software updates and security patches so making sure that all of your software is up to date is really important for protecting your computer from all kinds of threats. And this is actually really handy because I'm guilty of just forgetting to update things. And so the fact that this does it for me and reminds me is really a saving grace. But now that our graces have been saved, let's go to Safe Cam and Safe Web, which you can find under Device Security, Settings, and Safe Cam. So Safe Cam basically uh, manages what has access to your camera and makes sure that nobody that shouldn't have access to it can, you know, intrude on your privacy. So no peeping toms. And you can customize your settings here to your liking, but since uh, my version doesn't have have that many options then i can't fiddle around with any of the settings beyond what i have here and the access right here you can grant it to whomever you want it to be granted to and then we have safe web so with safe web what we have is you go to the internet and you download a browser extension like i have here so you type in uh, norton safe web extension and then you have something like this so what it does it basically reads uh the safety of the website and makes sure that you're not you know being at risk or exposed to whatever this particular website has Obviously, the Norton website is safe. And if you want, you can find a full safety report. And then it's going to give you an idea of, you know, what this website's like. Once it loads up, it'll really help. There we go. And my, my internet's really slow. And so once it loads up, you have that option to just check every little aspect of it. Or you can just type in a link to a website here so you don't have to visit it directly. So that's handy for sure. And the last thing that I want to talk about is the firewall. So if you don't know what a firewall is, and first let me tell you how to get there. So you go to device security, settings, and then the second thing should be firewall. So a firewall is basically the wall, go figure, the wall between you and the malicious stuff on the internet. So it makes sure that nothing gets through and protects you from all the viruses and malware that uh, may be coming your way. And so you want to turn it on. You know, it's something that you probably would want to consider. If you turn it off, then you're braver than I am. But the two main things that I want to talk about are the program control and the advanced program control, because the program control determines which apps have access to the internet. So say sometimes you don't have access to the internet on a particular app or, you know, you work for home and you have to download something and then you figure out hey i can't access the internet well if that's the case then you might want to go here and see if you do have it uh, allowed and granted for that particular app and the next thing is advanced program control so advanced program control really depends on how sensitive you want uh the firewall to be or how aggressive you want it to be and determine how frequently and what you want it to notify you for so you can adjust that accordingly and for low risk uh, applications you can determine you know if you want it to alert you at all or alert or if it's just suspicious and so that's a hard word to say suspicious there we go so if you want to make sure that that's all under wraps and that you have your firewall settings finely tuned then you can go into here i would highly recommend it because you don't want to have any holes in your firewall right and so i think that's all i really had to talk about for this video we've covered everything that i had in mind uh, if you found this video informative hit that like button and subscribe if you want to help keep the lights on here. And also, before we go, don't forget to go to the description to check out that link to this seven-day free trial that you can't find anywhere else. And you can check out all of these wonderful options and, you know, see which one suits you best. And so, yeah, that's all we have for today's video. If you found this video informative and interesting, then, you know, consider sticking around. So, as for now, that's all we have in store for you today. If you want to check out our other videos, then please check them out. And if you have any questions, then make sure to leave them in the comment section below. And so, until next time, guys, Guys, take care and I will see you then.